Hi everyone, this is Suzanne from Designs by Suzanne. Um, just catching up on this Country Garden Journal. Let's see. I'm, I just keep adding things to more pages, so I'm going back and showing you. And for this page, no, not this page, this page. I thought it needed something here, so I'm using these stamps from Creative Expressions. They're by Sam Cool, and it's called Butterfly Walk. And I'm going to use... Let's see, I thought I was going to use this tall, skinny one, but... Hmm. I'll use it. Okay. I'm going to stamp it in Versafine Claire Rainforest. <coughs> I better get something flat to put underneath here before I stamp it. Sorry about the clinking. My dog is eating the remainder of my granddaughter's spaghetti I gave her for dinner. And she's starting to get a little fussy in the bed too. So hopefully I can finish this video. We shall see. Oh, that's pretty. That's just perfect. I thought this page needed something. I just couldn't really figure out what. So. I am happy about that. Just going to clean my stamp block. Or my stamp, I should say. So, how are you all doing? Are you go doing good? You've had a good day. Um, mine has not been very exciting. I'm watching my youngest granddaughter, Millie, who is in bed, um, while my husband and son and daughter-in-law go to Uh, some kind of benefit. I'm not sure what it is. But I gave up my ticket for one of them because we couldn't get any more tickets. So, But I get to spend the night with Millie. And she's just been an angel. She's the cutest little thing. Okay, and then I've already told you this page I'm going to leave alone. Don't think I did anything here. I stamped that. Added this pattern paper here. The ribbon here. A film strip here from 49th and Market. And then... Okay, we start over. I picked a couple of pieces out. So by the way, this is probably my favorite color. So when you see me journal, there's probably going to be a lot of deep reds, maybe some pinks. This color I am just really drawn to. In fact, I'm going to buy something expensive clothing wise, or I look at this color. 
I have one Pashima cashmere shawl, and it's um, it's this color. My sister did give it to me, though. <laughs> I have to say. She gave me something else that color that was spendy. What was it? It was a some kind of bag. It's an expensive brand. I mean, not like a Birkin or something stupid like that, but a nice bag. Those are some of the few things I keep. I don't keep a lot of things. If I, if I have things and I don't use them, I, I get rid of them. Crafting supplies. I like to keep those. <laughs> I always think, oh, I might use those. I might use that in something. I can't find a good spot for this. Rather, it was down here. Scrappy, what's wrong? Hmm? My dog is crying. Oh, I wish I could show him to you. He's the cutest dog in the world. He is a Parsons Russell Terrier. He's petting him right now. And he's just the cutest little dog ever. I had one like him when I was little. And my husband surprised me. He brought this little baby home to me. And we have been inseparable since. He sleeps with me. Won't you scratch? And that was my dog's name that I had when I was little. Scrappy. And my mom made a Easter bonnet, matching Easter bonnet for Scrappy and I for a contest. <clears throat> I don't know, it must have been like third grade. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, Scrappy and I won. I used to dress him up and And I had always wanted another dog like that, but my husband has always had hunting dogs and bigger dogs. So, you know, I got to the point where I was like, I'm home all day. I want a dog. And he listened and listened and watched and until he found my good Scrappy. He's my dog, but he does like to go out on the farm with Stan. That's like his favorite thing to do. This is a stamp I made, a faux stamp. And I just used some tiny labels, decorative edge scissors, stamps, and a vintage image to create that. And then this is from a mushroom book, book I had. Oh, and like these, I should show you these. These are just pull out tags for journaling on the back. I've left them blank on the back so you can journal on them. And I did 
this is a stamp. I think I did that with you. Oh gosh, I never did that tag. I never did a tag for here. Okay. You watched me pick this tag out, this uh, background paper out. And then I found a new tag for over here. Let's go ahead and ink that up. Oh, you guys, it's Saturday night. There's absolutely nothing on TV. Nothing. Until Saturday Night Live comes on. I'll be up for it because I'm a night owl, but in between there. Ugh. Nothing. And we did a little bit more than basic cable, and there's still nothing on. Just kind of annoying. You know, I find myself going back to really old school shows. I I, I will watch an episode of The Golden Girls. This was, this was a transfer I found at the Humane Society. They were pretty old, so it was pretty hard to get them to stick. And then, yeah, I'm just going to glue that on, but I want to add a decorative edge right there. So I'm going to glue this first. And this is old ledger. I got lucky when we went to the beach and I found a really great old <clears throat> used bookstore. And I found a couple of old ledger books, and I found both of Edith Holden's books, The Country Dyer of an Edwardian Lady, and the other one, what was it? Oh, what's the name of that? You all know what I'm talking about, but... I was really happy because that was the second copy that I have now. So I cannot feel bad about cutting them apart. But my husband's very patient when we go to the coast and I do my thrifting. He just waits in the car while I ramble about in the, this one store is huge. hate to cut that off, but well, and then I'm going to add this. I had sold, I had every, almost every Edger shop, Edger, um, what do you, all these edger punch that you could imagine. And then I got a die cutting machine and I thought, well, I don't need punches anymore. So I sold them all on eBay. Not realizing the, I don't know, the quickness, the you know, it's much easier just to sit where you're creating and punch shapes out than, you know, get your die out, line it up, because I'm sure I have this on a die. 
but my, my problem with them was that they, they do take up a lot of space. They really do. But I have a lot of drawers and cupboards in my craft room. I mean, I, I built, we built this craft room around per my design. So if I've got anybody com complain to, it's me. All right. So that bugs me that that's a little bit crooked. Oh, and also with, I mean, I, I love watching Millie, but I got their, I get their dog too, and he is very sick. He's dying. And he's literally on his last leg. So he can't hold food down. He vomits a lot. So that's been fun. But he, um, they lived with us when they moved back from. Las Vegas. My son worked for a hunting operation in Las Vegas. And then when they moved here, he moved for um, a different job in the hunting industry. And um, You know, we said, oh, we just built this house. It's huge. Well, it's not huge. It's just plenty of space. Just live with us until you build up enough money for a house. And that's what they did, and it worked out great. But I had West, their dog, um, that whole time while they worked during the day. So, in a weird way, he feels like my dog. and Not my dog, but it just makes me really sad to see him so sick. He's just skin and bones. But, you know, you know, people tell him, oh, you should just put him down. He'll be happier. But he's still a really happy dog. It's really strange. He's like, I don't know. It's just sad. He's a good dog. He's a Weimaraimer. We have had, well, we're on three. That's why this dog we have now is named Trace. We've had three. And that's the sad thing about big dogs. They just don't live that long. Okay, I'm thinking I might need to do a stamp there. So you might see that in the next video. This feels loose. I'm going to have to... Go in and check that. Sometimes when you check those bindings, 
right here, you do more damage than good. So I'm always a little bit leery of that. So here, was I going to put that ground page on there? I love that combination. Let's see. Oops, I didn't put my lid on there. Did I see that anywhere? There it is. Okay. wanted to use this piece of lace here. I don't think I need a background page here. I'll add some more red over here to tie it in. Um, and this is a tag decorated on both sides. So I think I will glue the ribbon down first and try it with um, just some glue stick first. This is my glue plaid pet pad for today. I think I'm almost out. There should be enough to do this. Barely, I'm getting near the end. You can tell. You can hear the rim. Scrappy, why are you staring at me? You want to go outside? No? I know. He thinks I'm talking to him the whole time I'm narrating this video. Because I do, I talk to him all day. Let's see. Put that down there. I'm finding that glue stick works pretty good on ribbon, especially if you leave it overnight and then the next day, it's uh, fine. And for this, I'm using my art glitter glue. I don't hear Millie. Maybe she finally went to sleep. She's just been laying in her crib. Just chatting. She's talking away. She's not crying. She's not fussing. Just talking. Not talking, but blah, 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 blah. Our little Millie. She's named after my mom. My mom would have been so happy. She always said, nobody's going to name anybody after me. I think I should glue that. Don't you? So she has a pretty old-fashioned Arkansas name. Her name was Mildred Winsel. She always went by Millie, though. Okay. Now 
I've debated about this page if I should leave it blank so you can do whatever you want. I think I'll leave it for now and come back to it. And this page has a pocket with a tag. So you can journal on the back. It's a really pretty bird image. And then there's some fabric here and a tag. And then a little, little tiny pocket with a little teeny tiny tag. And a vintage stamp. So I'm going to start by just gluing this down. I might, my guess is like I'll end up coming back and doing some stamping on the sides. This is one way to use your old um, six by six paper pads. And that's what is back here right now that I'm gluing on. You can use them for backing vintage documents and things like that. And nobody's going to see them. So they work really well for that. Love tiny pockets like this. Maybe nobody else does, but I do. Yeah, this lo it looks pretty blank along the sides, so I'll probably come back and do some stamping. If I do, I'll show you for sure. This is just a flip out. And that really needs some ribbon there. Just get it glued down for now. I think I meant for that to be a flip out, but it's not going to be now. I'm gluing her down. I really don't need any more bulk to this album at this point. So that's just fine. Just fine. Okay, where's my glue? Oh, here it is. This is, if you want to know, this is a Tim Holtz spreader. It, did it come with my, it came with something that I got. I can't remember what it came with. There was a ruler. But, um... I know a lot of people use credit cards and things like that for glue spreaders, but this is has some weight to it. So I use it almost daily. I really like it. kind of the way I do things by now. I I go through and add the main components of an album, like these two sides, but I know I'm probably going to do some stamping here, some stamping here, some kind of borders along there. Um, so there's a lot of back and forth, in other words. Let's see. 
Yeah, and I'll add some trim there. This page, this is a pocket from the pattern book we looked at the other day. Well, the pocket isn't, but the paper is. And I just added some vintage book plate, backed with some basil Swiss dot. And this is from an old vintage book on jewelry. And the colors, I, I don't, I love jewel tones in general. So the colors really appealed to me. And some of the, they have a lot of uh, images of, oh, like glamorous old movie stars. So I didn't really want to cover her up, but I'll add something here. And then not sure what I'm going to do there yet. This page, I started picking pieces out. Let's see, how far did I get along? Scrappy quit crying. I don't know what's wrong with him. I'm sure, I don't know if that's supposed to be there or not. Hmm. Anyway, I think I meant that to be a pocket. Tim Holtz dolls. I can't remember the vision I had for this at all. Hmm. Oh, that bugs me. Or was I going to have this guy? Let's see. Was he going to be over here? think so. Something like that? Maybe? I have this over here. No, that's too deep. Okay, well that's going to have to wait till tomorrow. And then this page, I had a flip out with some Vintage ladies. This is an interesting fold out envelope with tags. And that's about as far as I'm going to get tonight, you guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll, I'll, sorry about the dogs. I'll catch you up tomorrow. Bye, guys. Thanks.